I thought uh, we got it done uh, pretty well in the circle. Rachel started off and Michaela came in, did an outstanding job. That was a very offensive team and they held them to four runs, so I, I'm, I'm tickled to death. And with that, um, again, we got uh, some opportunities and we had some timely hitting. And, and again, when you play good defense, good, good pitching and get timely hitting, uh, that's a great uh, recipe for success. So uh, we just got to get ready for this next one, take it uh, easy for a couple hours and then uh, get ready to play Florida. Raise your hand and we'll get you a mic. Yeah, Emily, can you just, just talk about the fast start and what it meant to you guys? I know you, you haven't been doing that as well lately, and what, what led to it? I mean, that was the plan. We wanted to jump on them fast. We wanted to get ahead so our pitchers could have some breathing room. And like Coach said, Rachel and Michaela both did a great job pitching in the circle, and we really did feed off of them. For both players, did it get a little uh, nerve-wracking there in the sixth inning? when they had those couple runners on and no outs, and it seemed that things could have come, it was set up that things could have come undone. Mm -hmm. I mean, playing Alabama, you're never just safe. You're never, you're never in the clear until it's a run rule, and we didn't have a run rule, and they're, they're a great hitting team, and I mean, we pulled through, and Mac, like I said, just did awesome in the circle finishing the game. I felt the same way. With any SEC team, there's never, if there's one out, they can win. And that's the way we look at it. But we practice it every day. We practice this week, runners at first and second, tying run at second, winning run at first. What do you do? And we had to go through the building stages. We messed up in the very beginning, but by the end of practice, we were getting the job done and we felt confident with every situation. And so that's just another situation we practiced and we rehearsed and we were ready for it. And preparation is key and that's what coach preaches. So we were ready for it, for what they gave us and we came through. As mentioned preparation, but what was it like last night? You've been kind of waiting to play Alabama probably all year, and you had to wait another another day. What was that like last night uh, in the, the buildup? I mean, it's nice to have our own little Iron Bowl in the SEC tournament, but like Coach said in his interview before yesterday, that the doubleheader doesn't mean anything until we win the first game. So we were focusing on the first game because that's the most important game of the season right then and there. <laughs> I liked waiting today because we get the jitters out of the way in the beginning. I felt in the very beginning uh, we were all super amped, uh, and I can talk for at least us. We were all very amped. We were ready to play Alabama, and mm -hmm. we kind of got the night to rest on it and get peace of mind and come back this morning and take our swings like we know and stay in control. And that's what we came out. We wanted to play Auburn softball, and for the most part, we did. Casey, how, how difficult is it when they just keep walking you? <laughs> Every time. I mean, four, it's, it's four times another, in one game. It's just another runner on base. Uh, it's the way I see it, you know, it, it takes a team effort. And, you know, I'm another piece of the puzzle. So Emily's over here getting three hits. And, you know, I'm just trying to do my part. And so if my part is to get a walk, then I'm going to wait and let someone score me because that's what this game's about. Coach, what do you now do for the uh, next? Players first. Oh, we'll players. Get the players out of the way. Sorry. Players. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys do for the next two hours? Prepare. <laughs> get ready for Florida. <laughs> it's just mental preparation. What do we want to accomplish during this game? What could we do better? And ultimately, how do we approach Florida? So. Any other questions? Okay, congrats, ladies. You're dismissed. Thank you. Okay. Good luck, Coach. Thanks. Good luck, Coach. <laughs> I guess. I guess what I was going to ask you. <laughs> Next two hours, you know, how much, what do you guys do then? How do you get them now prepared? And how much does the Florida series from this year now come into play from right now? Uh, the girls are eating right now, then we're going to walk over to the baseball hitting cages and just kind of lay around and, and, uh, and rest. I mean, at this point in time in the season, we, there's really not a lot that the coaches have to do. I mean, we get together and kind of look at uh, some different things that we need to do with, based on strategy. But you know, for the most part, we'll, we'll discuss this game. We'll talk about uh, the little things and the paying attention to detail. Um, but everybody knows what's 
what's at stake. Everybody knows what they have to do in order to win. So the key thing is just, uh, you know, relax and don't make too much of it and go out and play Auburn softball. Glenn, do you, do you believe this was enough this morning to, to, to get you in the top eight? I, again, uh, you know, I, I never try and figure out what the committee's going to do. I just know that, you know, we're going to have a regional, and uh, I believe that we should be in a super regional, whether it's at Auburn or someplace else. You know, you you got you to gotta play the game. I think we're a top eight team, you know, uh, but again, I'm an old fat guy, so nobody really cares. So, I mean, we just we just kind of go. And whatever they decide is, is uh, you know, where we go. I mean, this is a very talented team. And uh, they haven't played their best softball, and that's the, that's the scary part about it. You know, uh, with the regionals coming on and the direction that we're going, we just beat a very good team, ranked fourth in the country. Uh, you know, I, I think that uh, we're moving the direction that needs to be, and hopefully people are taking notice. Clint, Clint, I'll ducktail off Phillip's question, which is if people are going to keep walking Casey, do you like the mentality of the girls in front of her and behind her in, in your order? Uh, you know, we've – Carly Wallace has done a good job. I mean, she got the big hit in the first inning. Um, again, Jade Rose got, a, you know, an RBI single. So, uh, you know, would we like to see Casey swing the bat? Oh, you bet, because, uh, you know, she's phenomenal. But you know, she's broken the, the walks record. She's uh, – you know, tied with the home run record. I mean, and again, if she's done all this, uh, these things with, uh, you know, close to 70 walks. So she's uh, she's been been very patient, very team centered, um, and and again, that's you know that speaks volumes about Casey. So um, we'll just have to see what Florida does. Coach, um, should Alabama and Auburn play in the years that the SEC doesn't schedule them to sometime during the regular season, and why didn't that happen this year? It's a good question, and I, I really don't have an answer. I know that uh, next year Tennessee called, and we're doing a benefit game in some place in Tennessee because we don't play them. Um, we, The first year I was here, we played in Montgomery. Um, but uh, for for some unknown reason, there was nothing set up this year. So um, I know we play them next year. So the, that's uh, you know that's already on the schedule. It's uh, you know two very good teams that'll battle and you know get the state kind of excited.